Hi, this is Kavita Suresh Kumar and in this video, I am going to demonstrate how to deploy a simple Python HTTP cloud function in GCP using GCP console. I have logged into my Google Cloud account. Click the navigation menu, click more products, then click the cloud functions. Click create function. So we will use the environment as a second gen and then we need to provide a function name. So this is going to be a simple hello python http function. So I am going to call this hello python http and I will leave the region as US central one itself and I will select allow unauthenticated invocations. Let's review the runtime configuration. So memory allocated is going to be 256 MB. I'm going to leave everything as default CPU is 0.167, timeout is 60, maximum concurrent request per instance is one, maximum number of instance, I'm going to give it as five. I'm going to use the uh, default uh, service account, compute engine default service account. Uh, if you want to add any runtime environment variables, you can add it. Build. So if you wanted to add any build worker pools, you can add it. Connections, I'm going to allow all traffic. I'm going to leave most of the things as default. Security, so encryption, we are going to use Google Manage encryption key. So if you have a customer manage, you can use that. And the image repository is the Google Manage artifact registry. Click next. So here I'm going to deploy a Python HTTP cloud function. So let me select the Python. I'll select Python 3.11, right? So here you can see the requirements.tx file, so which gives what are the prereqs we need to get it installed. And then the main.py, this is a very simple Python sample application. So we will use this applications. So it is going to get the JSON as a request, right? And in the JSON, it expects a name key. So if the key is provided, so it is going to print hello and the name, right? So if there is no name provided, so it is going to say hello world, right? So this I'm going to modify. I do not want it to by default say hello world. Instead, I want it to say hello from cloud function. Okay, so now let's deploy. Creating the function. The function is getting deployed while the function is getting deployed let's review the other information which is available in this page so you can see the metrics once the deployment is successful you will be able to see the invocations per second what is execution time memory utilization what is the instance count right and then in the details tab you'll be able to see that information about the region what is the memory allocated cpu timeout minimum and maximum instances, concurrency, and what is the service account being used. So all these information you'll be able to see in the details tab. And in, in the source, you can see the requirements.txt and the main main.ui file. And if you have defined any variables, you can see here. So once the function is deployed, you'll be able to see the trigger here. So the function has been successfully deployed. So let's click this trigger so this is going to trigger the http function and we could see it has triggered and we got the message hello from the cloud function the application not only accepts a request json file it even accepts a parameter request parameter so let's provide invoke it by providing the name parameter so we could see that it is printing hello kavita so now let us go and see the permissions. So here it gives the information about the principles and the role. And then in the logs, you'll be able to see the logs. And in the testing, so once the cloud function is deployed, it is it will give the sample command, curl command, which can be executed in the cloud shell. Okay, so here again, I'm going to change Instead of hello world, I'm just going to call give my name here. Okay, so and this is the sample command which has been generated. So I'm just going to copy this. So I'm going to execute this in the cloud shell. Paste the content. Authorize. 
and we could see it has printed the message hello Kavita. In this demo we have seen how to deploy a simple Python HTTP cloud function in GCP using GCP console. If you like this video please like share and subscribe. Thanks for watching the demo.